Good morning. It's uh, Friday, Friday morning, August 3rd, 2012. It's actually about uh, 20 after 4 in the morning, 25 after 4 in the morning. Couldn't sleep. I'm trying to work on um, Coyote here. I need to get this thing running so that I can get Kaya running. So that I can start making some money again for a change. Something's totally screwed here. And I'm seeing, I think, what's happening here. Some kind of... I don't know what. Huh. Like some kind of mud buildup on top of the... Uh, on top of these capacitors, it's, it's kind of weird. Something wrong with the video circuitry in this thing. I don't know what. But it's really weird. Huh. Anyway, I don't know if I can fix the video circuitry. But it does have a spot I can put a peripheral, peripheral card. And maybe I can pull another motherboard out. Well, it's not even picking this up on the network, so I don't think it's a um, video problem. I think it might be something to do with the, with the EEPROM chip, the boot ROM. Well, I figured it out. It was, um... It was a bad, um... memory card. I'm not sure... why it's not booting now, but I'm sure you the video. Okay, it had one 512 meg chip. Um, I've replaced them with two one gigabyte chips, which is actually the maximum the system can handle. Uh, I don't know if this had some kind of a heavy voltage spike that screwed it up. Hopefully it didn't screw up the disk too. If so, I'll have to, I'll have to mirror Fox's uh, disk somehow and then uh, pull this one out. And. Uh, <coughs> Okay, here goes. <clears throat> yeah, definitely get a spike protector on eBay. Okay, it picked up on the memory. ROM structure was not found. What's the deal with that? Uh, oh, actually, I think I know what's wrong with this. Attempting to boot from a PXE image over a network, which I don't have one of them. But, you know, I must have uh, just forgotten that it's got to boot from the, um, Yeah, either this got like way too much heat and it screwed up the internal components of this, or it got a voltage spike. It's not recognizing the uh, drive. Wow, it must have actually been a loose wire. Very strange. Anyway, this is all seems to be working okay. It's recognizing the drive. Got a lot of memory in this now, so it should be pretty fast. Wish I knew how I just fixed it. I was wiggling all the wires and I just fixed it. So, anyway, I can work on Kaya again. Alright, it's um. I think I already said it last night. Wow, it's Friday. Okay, it's Friday, August 3rd, 2012. So I got, um, 
Coyote back running again. Time server's not working right. This is what turned out to be the culprit, a bad uh, memory card. So that's it for that. I'm going to focus on that car. That car's got to be priority. Maybe get that car out of here. A couple packages came today. This should be the bolts. i got to find my knife to open these. This is probably the bolts or, or, or screws for the uh, computers because adding all this extra stuff I ran short on screws. And the other one's a router for um, so that I can uh, link the internet into my cell phone for the times when I lose cable here. Just a little FYI, um, I got um, the system manually that Kaya uses. You can see that um, these stocks are all in the green today. Sadly, I don't have any money to be putting on these, but you can see this whole list of um, Kaya's watch list. It's just phenomenal. So this theory is going to work. Look, look at them all. Hundreds of stocks are all up. Very little down. They're all up not a little bit. They're all up probably an average of three, four percent each. And that's just today. That one took a huge hit. MTG. I don't know what's wrong with that one. That one's down fifteen percent. That's probably one of the only ones I'd be able to afford if I ever do get any money. <laughs> Anyway, it's promising. That's why I'm getting this, um, working on this, um, server. Because I haven't been able to pay the hosting, so a lot of my sites that I normally use for Kaya's analysis of the stock market are down. So if I can run it locally, um, then I may be able to program Kaya to, uh, host the results up instead of doing the calculations off site. So that's Operation Wildcat. Yeah, there they are. Computer screws from China. <laughs> anyway, I've been looking at these stocks. This is Mass Tech, MTZ. It's up twelve point sixty four percent. I don't even know why. Kaya figures this stuff out. I don't under, even understand the algorithm myself. What it is, is it's a self-programming algorithm. It just gets so complex that I, I can't even figure it, figure it out. It's interesting, anyway. This one's a construction company. I wonder if this uh, philosophy would work for shorts. If I... Um, Hmm. So I put, put another uh, the opposite criteria in. What I'm trying to do is get this um, algorithm to be good enough that I can do it with less money. I know I need at least two grand to um, uh, leverage my um, uh, margin. I still have my margin account. Well, actually, I have two margin accounts, but I haven't had any money yet to meet the margin requirements to even start trading margin. For example, I can't write um, uncovered puts or something like that until I have um, enough money in there to cover this. I can't day trade. They made a, a rule where you can't day trade unless you have $25,000 in equity. So. That's the first goal if I ever get this. First goal, that's the second goal. The first goal is getting $2,000 in there. The second goal is um, at $25,000, then I can day trade. In the meantime, i got to figure a way to. Uh, that Kaya can um, read the net with more consistency. They can't have any errors like what just happened at night recently. There it is, a um, D-Link DAP 1350 wireless access point.
This is actually designed to be portable. That's why it's in a. Uh, that's why it's in a leather case. Interesting. Anyway, what this is going to do is take the um, take the um, wireless access point from the cell phone. I'll be able to interface it with a Cat5 cable into my um, network here. So I'll be able to run the network through the cell phone. Uh, um, Wi-Fi system that runs right through my cell phone. That's a theory anyway. I'll have to figure this out. This looks pretty good actually. This looks like almost brand new. It's used but nobody used it. It's kind of cute. It's got a little thing that comes out and uh, becomes legs. <laughs> I, just, I just said to come put my energizers back in the uh, charger. I said depleted. Doesn't make any sense, really. They're just freshly charged. That was kind of weird. I wonder if one of those batteries is as rechargeable as beat. Anyway, I'm gonna dig for that uh, five sixteenths. I gotta have five sixteenths wrench in one of these units. Hopefully, I won't have to dig too deep. This is gonna take a while. Well, that's awesome. I found the ratcheting box wrench. I thought was in storage. That didn't take very long. Cool. I got a couple cans of this high heat white. I guess I'm gonna I'll paint this um Y pipe. Get it ready to put on the um on the truck. Yeah, this stuff dries pretty fast, so this is just the one side I gotta flip it after this thing. Make a couple coats on here. Yeah, little by little. I'm going to get that pickup truck running so I can get down to Florida and knock that out. This is crazy. I was always told that mimosa trees didn't they didn't grow too easily, but look at it. It's grown like a weed. This is where the uh, mimosa tree was that they cut down. I thought they should keep it, but they cut it down. And that's totally in the last couple weeks. Uh, oh my god. It's encroached over the whole entrance to the underneath the porch and everything. It's weird. It's just kind of crazy. Yeah, it's starting to look good. Running out of paint, so it's just going to barely make it. Looking good, though. I brought it in and I'll let it dry up in here a little bit, just in case it rains outside. If I can find the studs, maybe I'll put this on today. If I can find my um, pipe cutter, tailpipe cutter. Uh, I see the rain is starting now a little bit. I'm glad I brought that in. As soon as it stops, I'm going to get out there and uh, put those hoses on that car. I'm looking for the clamps right now. Alright, well that's sweet. All these um, programs are running on Coyote. I'm actually um, in with an SSHD program called Putty. It's actually a Telenet client. Um, SSHD and other stuff. Um, I was having a problem getting into it because of the firewall. It was some. It was uh, had the Ethernet cable plugged into the wrong one. So now it's got its right address and everything. Perfect. I got my time server back going again. So everything's working. So. I'm ready to work on Kaya. I heard a bunch of thunder unless somebody hit something else. But anyway. yeah, this weather for the last 30 days has been kind of insane. Just raining and raining and raining. That's why the whole yard's turning into a jungle. Yeah, this is really getting old. Lightning just knocked our electric out. Now it went back on again. Hopefully it didn't screw up. The um, computer I just fixed, there's no surge protector on this. So it stopped raining, I'm going to give this hose installation a shot. Of course there's like a billion mosquitoes flying around here. 
And I put this blue stuff around uh, the uh, Permatex blue RTV gasket around the um, uh, defective. It's kind of a little bent up. This will fill it in. So push it on. Yeah, it'd hate to have to be the one to take this off. This is that stuff forever. Oh, well, that's one on. It feels like it's bending that tube again. I don't think those tubes are um, thick enough. If I had thought of it, I would have put some kind of an insert inside of it. Too late now. Anyway, um, I finally got my hands clean from that. Um, more or less. Anyway, it's getting dark now, so I'm going to get back on working on this uh, Kaya stock centrifuge project for the R, part of the R50 project. What I got to do is somehow get a um, get an SQL server on this uh, computer on, on Coyote. I'm uh, using Putty to get in. Um, I have to set up a base for it so they can deal with it like a normal server. Well, that's cool. I guess I had already gotten this part. I got the Apache server running. I've got the FTP server running. All I have to do is link in the SQL server and Perl and all that crap.